Happening today here, a local lawmaker trying to help military service members pay off their student loans. Representative Scott Peters is in San Diego today pushing for more loan forgiveness. CBS 8's Regina Yorita is live in front of the San Diego Veterans Museum now with some details on this new legislation here, Regina. Yeah, good morning. And that briefing actually took place around 10 a.m. here at the Veterans Memorial Garden. And it was really for Congressman Scott Peters to talk about this new legislation that he's pushing, right? One that would help our servicemen and women as well as veterans when it comes to student loan forgiveness. He says oftentimes our military men and women are forgotten. They're, they haven't really gotten much guidance when it comes to student loan forgiveness and whether they qualify or not to this program, which is a public service loan forgiveness. So here's a little bit about what Congressman Peter said during that briefing. Not be that hard. The federal government already knows who owes student loans and who has served or who is serving and how many payments they've made. If the Department of Defense and the Department of Education shared this data with each other, service members would automatically receive the benefits owed to them. And so this morning, Congressman Scott Peters introduced the Ensuring Military Access to Higher Education Benefits Act of 2024 to support military connected students. Under current rules, Peters says service members and veterans need to go through a complicated process of having their current or former superior officers confirm proof of their time in service so they can qualify for the PSLF program. The congressman says it's difficult for veterans who are no longer in touch with their former officers. In some cases, their former officers have also left the service, leaving them with little to no access to the benefits they earned. Peter's bill would require the U.S. Department of Defense and U.S. Department of Education to share data on military members service and loans to automatically enroll them in the PSLF program. So essentially this would give military service members automatic access to student loan forgiveness. So back out here, this is really Scott. Uh, Peter's way of expediting that process for our service men and women. And he's saying, you know, he has bipartisan support. This is really to help our our veterans as well. So he says because of just the amount of uh, post 9-11 veterans that we have here in San Diego, it's really going to benefit them. That's Leilis. I'm Regina Yurita for CBS 8.